Across the world, educators are designing learning experiences that build on learner strengths and needs, creating new knowledge and using real life problem solving to help all students identify their talents, purpose and passions. Students are developing transferable skills in character, citizenship, collaboration, critical thinking, creativity, communication. In this video, we see how new pedagogies for deep learning is permeating across the whole school culture. Together, teachers, school leaders, and families are working to create conditions that will transform learning for each and every student. It was an invitation to them to uh, feel that they can take risks and that we do trust uh, them to be able to move in a direction that might involve a little bit of, uh, of change in practice and it's okay to try it and to find their entry point where they are comfortable in uh, coming into this particular implementation of deep learning. We're co-learners alongside everyone. You, when you walk into one of our learning sessions, you don't know who the principal is, who the teacher is, or who the superintendent is. We're all together. Uh, we're learning and we're trying to improve together and we're trying to innovate. The educators from Ottawa Catholic School Board share their insights about how to develop a school-wide culture that embraces deep learning. It begins with creating conditions that promote collaboration and the encouragement of trust, risk-taking, choice, and voice. First and foremost, um, I guess, is to have the team trust you. And that's a huge, huge area. And we talked right from the beginning about the norms and that we wanted that discussion. And, and I didn't want people to just say yes, that, okay, tell me, Andrea, it's absolutely impossible. Like, we can't do this in grade one. And they do. I would say the surprise this year was how quickly people adopted to what we had hoped would take place and the grassroots ideas that none of us centrally would have thought of. There's so much more knowledge when you combine an entire system and you're not relying on a top-down approach. Um, we may put in some seeds, but the real germination is happening at the classroom level with our teachers and the willingness to share. Schools that have successfully seeded deep learning allow educators to come into it from different entry points. They use the new Pedagogies for Deep Learning tools as a common reference point for their collaborative planning and reflection. Teachers regularly share wonderings, insights, and challenges. I think if we look at the tools that are in place in the, the new Pedagogies for Deep Learning framework, when I first looked at those, they were pretty overwhelming. There's a lot of rubrics and learning progressions and uh, uh, different, uh, different types of, of tools that you can use. And I think it's important to take those tools and unpack them slowly. Be easy on yourself. Choose one thing. Take a look at the pedagogy. Take a look at MPDL. Take a look at the six C's. Follow the deep learning with Michael Follin and some other uh, people who are really helping us uh, lead this way in teaching. Just choose one thing to start with and find someone in your school that you can collaborate with and say, let's try this together. Would you be willing to try this? And just see what happens. Reflect on it. What did we get out of this? How might we do it differently? Uh, where, where could we go with this next? Just take it step by step. Start looking at the big ideas and say, in this activity, how many of these big ideas can we hit? So that we're not working, number one, in isolation, but we're not also separating all the strands and thinking, today I do math, tomorrow I do science. Just try and look at the big picture and the big ideas. There are multiple formal and informal opportunities for teachers to share what they are experiencing and adapt as they go based on student need. A big part of my uh, personal learning as a teacher has been the team teaching. And I started team teaching uh, when I was teaching junior grades. And what that looked like for us was actually bringing our classes together, even in grade four and six, and teaching lessons together. Because there was so much coming out about different goals and different things that we were supposed to focus on, we'd try it together. And having that other person help direct that learning and say, oh wait, we still need to remember to do this or to do that, really helped me grow because we were able to try on new things, take risks, and, and, try, and we, from that we learned that, oh, this really works for the kids. Student need drives planning, resulting in iterative and strategic decision making. We've been lucky enough to have shared planning as well, so we plan tasks together we're, we're able to collaborate on uh, student achievement and assessment as well because that my teaching partner knows my students so well, I can 
look over that student together and if I'm st struggling with where they might be or what they might need next, and we can, we can problem solve together. The enthusiasm in these schools is palpable. There is a genuine respect for teachers' professionalism. Support from administration has been number one. Um, without that support, I think a lot of this would have been very difficult to pull together. Our administration is very open to change, so that has really helped us grow um, as teachers. They've also built in time together for partnerships to happen, which has been great, so that we can have some uh, shared planning time together. We've also um, been able to amalgamate some classes together to work on some challenges together. So without that support of administration um, and having um, the, the mindset of um, the partnerships that we do have, I think that has played a, a very important role. This is what we're going to try and the next time we meet, this is what we're going to bring back. So there's always that at the end, there's always a plan that's made. It's like deep learning and planning too. You don't plan all your PLCs for the whole year like we used to. We used to have an article and they'd read it and you just kind of do something, they go out. If we don't see it in the classroom and we don't see the change, whether it's um, whether it's in the class, whether it's in the pods, whether it's with math, then we pull them back, we review it, reiterate, we get somebody in, like, so we, it's very fluid in it, and it just goes by the needs of the school. We do get a lot of direction from student voice from what our focus was from that year. Teachers are leading the way through team teaching, coaching, mentoring, and contributing to the transformation that is happening in these schools. They know they are making a profound difference in the lives of students. When you're passionate about what you're doing, teachers are putting in the work they need and many are finding out that it's not necessarily more work, it may be different work or it may be an enhanced work and they're seeing the impact on their students. So when they see the students meeting success, they want to put in that work.